this gets pretty graphic. So have fun! Three! Yeah! On! Inuyasha took out his big gargantuan dick and touched it. Like all wolves and creatures of the night, he needs loving. The moon was full and he could feel his blood boil all over his void. It was mating season and he needed to find a female. The first girl that came to his mind was Raichuru. He longed to touch her voluptuous body and kiss her on the neck. He thought about it all night until he finally went to her house. Hey Raichuru, he whispered to a window. I'm coming in. What? She said. Why? You're the only woman I can ever love. And I need you right now. It's time for me to mate. Ow! Oh, uh. He howled. Then he came in. I can't do this. What about Denmark? We love each other very much. She looked into his sparking blue sapphire ocean eyes. The lust covered her whole body. But I love you more. He nestled her neck with his nose and put his thing against her legs. Let me do it. She leaned black on the bed and let him into her. They were in love and they started humping. They screeched and moaned, sending horrible cat and dog noises to their neighbors. Ugh. Finally, after a good three hours, they were done. That was amazing, Inuyasha, she breathed. Yes, it was, he smiled at her. Suddenly, Dan Marker burst into the room. Raichiru, he screamed. I loved you. Why did you do this to me? It's all my dad's fault, she cried. I wouldn't have had sex with Inuyasha if he hadn't been so consoling when my dad came back. Then she woke up. It had all been a dream. Or had it? Distressed Raichiru went downstairs. Almost crying, the memories of her father were terrible. After her mother died, she had to live with her father. He was very mean to her. Ever since the day she thought he died, a little bit of life was brought back into her soul. Now that he was black, she didn't know what to do. It was like the darkest, evilest, worst cloud had come to rain down upon her and shatter her heart with torture. I've been waiting for you. Denmark came out of nowhere. He was sitting on the couch with his legs propped up on the coffee table. Did you miss me? He wrapped his arms around her and gave her a kiss. Oh, hi, Danny, Kun. Raichiru looked away. Is there something wrong? No, I'm fine, really. I can tell you're hiding something from me behind that beautiful smile of yours. It was like a heavenly light shone on her ass. He kissed her forehead and said, I love you. Now tell me what's wrong. My daddy, I mean, dad, even terrorizes me in my sex dreams. She never called him dad before, because when she last saw him, she as young enough to call him daddy. That bastard, Denmark exclaimed. If he ever messes with you again, I will kill him. There's nothing you can do. Denkun, there's nothing you can do. With that, Raichiru ran up into her own room. With Denmark coming after her, she closed the door before he could get in. On the nightstand, there was a bottle of pills. They were the type of pills that made you feel good after taking them. I said I wouldn't do this anymore. I quit! But the pills were there, tempting her, all shiny and blue. She reached out and took one. No! Stop it! She threw the first pill on the floor. She took a second one and done the same, but the third one was evil. A pill made to make the addict want to take it. A member from the clan going against the Yakuza had snuck it into a bottle. She couldn't help herself and she took it. No! Why? Why? She started downing more pills. They were like terrible candy. She was supposed to feel better with every pill, but she didn't. She just wanted more. It was almost orgasmic. Soon she found a knife. What to do with it? She thought about it and decided to play with it. I love knives. She was tripping really hard. It seemed to her that the knife wanted to be dug into her flesh. She longed to see and drink the blood. Slowly she stabbed her shoulder and then moved down to her arm. The blood flowed like a waterfall of pain and bliss. Her tongue touched the red waterfall, and she drank it. It tasted as refreshing as a lemonade Capri Sun. It seemed flowing and endless. Her body grew pale, and her eyes turned red with excitement. She was going insane. 
She could imagine all her problems disappearing into her mouth, being washed away with her blood. Her father wouldn't hurt her anymore. No one ever would. Her eyes rolled to the back of her head, and her blood dripped all over her face. Are you okay? Raikun, open this door. I love you. Don't hurt yourself. Not anymore. I was too late. Gallons of blood was lost from her body, and she passed out on the floor. Everything stained red. It was hours before Denmark broke open the door and found the bleeding Raichiru. She was badly hurt. Inuyasha is owned and created by Rumiki Takahashi. <laughs>